hello viewers thank you very much for watching this video so you are welcome to the class like i've promised in the physical classroom that um, i will release a video where we explain better so let's go to the business so the first one is preamble and then subsection um, subsection one so in this case we want to consider the fact that um, it's very possible to express many functions in the form of infinite series you know whenever you hear the word infinite series there are two things involved number one is either we are talking about McLaurin series or we are talking about Taylor series so let's take a look at the first one as you can see here we have f of x to be a function and we can express it in terms of um, McLaurin series here the center is zero and at the same time we can also express any function in terms of a Taylor series so Taylor series here we can see that the center here is what is a so what is a big deal now is that um, it's possible to express a simple function in terms of some series in terms of some functions that we'll be adding together to give us that series so these are the two things here that we called uh, uh, series McLaurin series or Taylor series so in this video we shall present a periodic function as an infinite trigonometrically series which in terms of sine or cosine okay so let's take a look at McLaurin series you know is actually a type of uh, Taylor series but the only condition is that it is center at zero here we are expressing the function at the center of x equals to zero okay now let's take a look at this formula now which is f of zero plus f prime of zero uh, multiplied by x then we have it like that let's consider this example number one uh the macron series of exponential x here exponential x let's first of all find f of zero and here exponential zero is what is one so let's differentiate if we differentiate ex you still have ex so if you evaluate that derivative at a zero you have one then we proceed like that then we cannot see clearly now that this is the taylor's uh, maclaurin series but don't forget the point for maclaurin series the center is zero Okay, the second example of infinite series here is the Taylor series. So, uh, this one here is also uh, a kind of representation of a function f of x. But here, the center is any point. Is any point compared to Maclaurin series where the center is zero. But here, the center is a point A. So, A could be 5, it could be 3, it could be anything. But the point is that it is not at the center O. As in the case of Maclaurin series so here we have the expression so let's consider the case of exponential x again at a center a so we have it on the screen uh -huh, that is it now so here now in this two video now we want to consider the Fourier series which is also a kind of infinite series representation of a function but here we are not talking about at zero we are not talking about at point a but we are talking about the representation of function using either sine or cosine you know either sine or cosine so that is it but for this Fourier series here it can even capture the point of discontinuities that is where McLaurin and Taylor series they are limited they can undo something like that 